Not, Not all, all heroes, heroes wear, wear capes. capes. Okay, Elijah, this is a this is a controversial okay. story, perhaps. All right. So what you got? in the USA Times, uh, there was a crossword puzzle from uh, February twelfth, and essentially it had a clue where the guess the answer was Oreo. But the clue was was pretty ridiculous. So this story was shared on Twitter by Brett Murphy, who's a journalist for the USA Today. And uh, he wrote an, uh, an email to the USA Today, and he goes, to the buffoons behind the USA Today crossword puzzle, today's clue for 10 down was, quote, cookie that some people eat with mustard, end quote. I eventually filled in Oreo. I was confused, but willing to admit my ignorance for the sake of completing your godforsaken puzzle. And then I tried it, you bastards. I would hope that given the cultural influence of the USA Today crossword puzzle, the puzzle masters would exit some sort of quality, would exert some sort of quality review for their clues. Oreos and mustard, I can now inform you with learned Hmm. experiential uh, certainty, are wretched. What exactly are the, quote, some people, end quote, that consume Oreos with mustard? I would like to have a word with them. I would kindly, uh, if you would kindly provide their phone numbers and some mailing addresses, I would be most appreciative. Uh, I would also be very appreciative if you would kindly refund the 14 cents, uh, the exact cost of the four Altoids I had to consume to get the taste out of my mouth to my Venmo. I'm willing to forgive the cost of the Oreo, 18 cents, the mustard was free. So, uh, yeah, it's just nice to know that some people are fighting the good fight out there, but how does Oreo become the, the answer for a, a cookie? Some people enjoy with mustard. I feel like it was some sick joke it had to just to get to people to do it. Yeah, for sure. Right. Cause that's not a thing. It's not a thing. Now, like, so <laughs> yeah, Elijah, you're talking <laughs> about how anyone like, who eats that, but I like both of them, but at different times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah th- th- those are, that's a, that's a paradox. Yeah, that, yeah, for sure. Well, so we both grew up in church, right? And I don't know if like in any of like your youth events, you ever did those games where it's like, there was one that we played where they would take like a piece of, of plexiglass and then like you could see what was going on on the one side of the glass. Uh, there would be a bunch of Oreos, half Oreos stuck to the glass, and there were like a bunch of ro- normal Oreos. But then on a few of them, they would put like a mustard filling, oh. and so like the audience like the the what? could see it, and then the people that were actually in the game like they were like basically like with their hand side behind their back, they're like trying to eat the Oreos what? off, and they don't see what's underneath the cream like in the cream side. They only see like the top of the cookie, and so they, it's like playing Russian roulette if it's going to be an Oreo filled. Uh, a mustard filled Oreo uh, or not. Okay. And then you see it happening. And that's what I thought of, but I don't th- feel like that's what USA today was coming from. Hmm. But I decided to do something a little daring here. Okay. With oh. you on the show. I'm daring. I'm, I'm all about daring. So I asked producer Jim and I pro- like God is my witness. I do not know the answers to any of this, but I asked producer Jim, if you would right. come up with some Oreo related questions. Oh, and who, who came up with the Oreo related questions? This is oh, pro- you did. producer Jim over oh, here. Wow. We are, I'm anxious to see or hear what these questions are. So Jim, you're going to your creativity. Why don't you come over to, to Bo's mic here? Yeah. yeah, yeah. All right. And, and here's what's going to happen is, uh, the the loser of this game has to eat an Oreo with mustard, and we have it. I'm so sorry, y'all. I thought it was gonna be an Oreo with mustard per question. No, no, incorrect. No, that would be that'd be so gross, man. Just just one. Uh, we'll all right, we'll, we'll all stomach right. it down. Uh, but this is what we're playing for here. So who's who's serving these things? Uh, Bobo, Bobo okay, will, uh, will right, serve we Oreo. Our, all right, we got our chef. We have an Oreo mustard chef today. So nothing like a little Pinot Noir whiskey and Oreos with mustard. <laughs> Yum. Okay. I'm so okay. sorry, Elijah. Uh, Ooh, haven't had dinner yet. So uh, this well, there is good. you go. Do you want to keep score? Yeah, that'd okay, be great. Cool. All right. All, all right, right, Jim. How is this going to work? All right. So, ten so we'll, t- we'll go back and questions. forth. We got yeah, five okay. pieces. Back and forth. All right. Woo. All, all right. right. So question number one. For Elijah, um, you go for sure, okay, I guess. Okay, okay. So we can thank the uh, fine people over at Ben & Jerry's for this one. Right. I don't know why they were doing this, but they did. Um, in 1985, they were selling its milky water waste to a local pig farmer. The farmer reported that his hogs loved every flavor except for A, regular, B, mint, C, churro, or D, red velvet. I'm going to go with mint. 
That is correct. Whoa, whoa. Bo, can you pipe in some like, <laughs> bing? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that'd be great. Great, great, great. Love it. Well done. Wow. Oh, that was good. Elijah, Elijah yeah, on the board. Wow. Yeah, hey. Yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Now the pressure's on me. Woo. Oh, that's so gross. You know what? <laughs> Should we do it? Oh, fuck. All right. I'll tell you what. I will. If that I looks <laughs> so foul and just like if I if I miss right this, I will eat that. Oh, this question. Yeah. Yeah. All right. What was the original name of Oreos? Damn it. <laughs> is there A, B, and C, and D? Uh, it's A, B, C. Okay, go, here we go. Here we go. All okay. right. So A, Oreo biscuits. B, Oreo sandwich. Or C, Golden O's. Oh, Golden O's. Oreo. I feel like you'd be Oreo sandwich. I'm what? Sorry. Oh, Oreo biscuits because they're made for the British originally. What? Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh. Man, look at that. Oh. Ooh. Oh no! Uh, it goes Take well a photo whiskey. of this so we can post this on. Uh, here you yeah, go. yeah. Let's get some get some pictures here to document this. Oh, gross, man! This is gonna be rough. <laughs> so okay, so we have here Bo for for those who are listening and not watching this video. Bo has smeared a whole bunch of mustard on oh, top of an man. Oreo. It does not look. A, it's it does a not lot. Look, it's not right. Oh man. Dude, it looks like a bird shit it, on that damn it, thing. It does. <laughs> it does. And the smell is not consistent because yeah. I smell the mm. sugar and I smell the salt. And then... It reminds me, do you watch Parks and Rec? I used to, yeah. Uh, yeah there's like yeah. an episode where like uh, uh, Leslie makes like a Unity cookies and she's like, oh, I had blue frosting, and so I, but I also need yellow, so I just use mustard. <laughs> so this sounds like... But here we go. All right. Bottoms up. Mm-mm. Mm, dang, dude. That is oh. gross, bro. <laughs> That's not great. Wow. USA Today, you suck. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, so I guess I'm next, right? Okay. Here All right, go. moving on to question three. Question number three. What you got there? What year did Oreos hit the market? Oh, A, well. 1912. B, 1924. Or C, 1946. 1912. That is correct. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. Okay. <laughs> All right. Here goes number four. Okay. Uh, which artist created a song dedicated to Oreos in 1992? Oh, my gosh. A, Yanni. Pearl Jam. B, Weird Al. C, Hootie and the Blowfish. Or D, Nirvana. Okay, I feel like Weird Al is the one that like would make the most sense, but I feel like it's a trick question. I'm gonna say Pearl Jam. It's Weird Al. Dang it! Oh, bro, you should go with the first instinct. <laughs> oh man, Oreo mustard cookie number two. Oh, here we go. <laughs> oh man, oh. dude. Mm. Hey, there's less mustard on that one, so better. Mm. Is you it a ratio milk? thing or? <laughs> <Of all of. laughs> oh, man. Geez. That was so good. All right. Here's the next one. 50-50. True or false? Okay. The original recipe included pork fat in the creamy center. A uh, false. It is true. Oh, oh no. no. Gosh. All right. Give me one of those bad boys. Okay. Here we go. You know, Jeez. by the time like you've just like embraced it, it's really not that bad. Oh, really? It doesn't taste great, though. So were they onto something? No. It's still awful. But it's like, you just kind of accept it, and you're like, all right. Mm. Yeah. It's just not a... It's not Whoa. right. Mm -mm. You're, I think the, what's hard about it is like your palate doesn't know what to do with it. I am a little curious. All right, let's do one more round. Let's cut it down to just one more round. Okay. That's, that's, not, that's weird. Yeah, it's not not ideal. Uh -uh. I'm going to have that. Yeah, why don't, don't you go quick. wash that out with some <laughs> right. whiskey there. Y'all can choose between... Let's see. Oh, wait. One more round. Two more. Eh. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, let's see. If you could stack all of the Oreos ever made, how many times would they reach the moon and back round trip? Hmm. A, three times. B, seven times. Or C, nine times. I. This is never... I never would have factored Oreo height by proximity to the moon. So what is it? Three? Seven or nine. 
Wow. I made these difficult for, for a reason here. Yeah, yeah clearly. Are you like an engineer you or what? monster. <laughs> hey, this was on Google. So. Oh, okay. I'm going to yeah. go ahead and say three times. Seven. There's that many Oreos? Oh, man, bro. It could go around the world. Oh. I think it was like 324 I'm, times. I'm over like three here. You just wow. like laid them next to each other. All right. Here we go. Bottoms up. Down Jeez. the hatch. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh. Woo. All right. Final question. Here we go. Oh, okay. How many ridges does each Oreo cookie have on the top? So we're talking about the one cookie. Yeah. Like, one way like the seal. Yeah. Like the ridges. Yeah. All right. So A, 28, B, 120, C, 90, or D, 12. Mm, okay. Uh, That's a tough one. 128. Uh, can you please repeat the question of uh, the numbers, the options? Yeah, 28, 120, 90, and 12. 90. That is correct. Yeah. Dang! You're like an Oreo genius, man. Wow. Yeah, we hang out. <laughs> yeah, you know your stuff, <laughs> man. Do you want to know how I answered that question correctly? I ride bicycles a lot, and I just thought about this, the, uh, the crank, like how many teeth are on it. So I just thought uh, I ride 48. There's about double in the Oreo cookie. Smart. And uh, yeah, so that just took Not a while. Bad. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Dang, dude. I write fixed, by the way. No breaks. Okay. Yeah. Wow. That's a, that's a man using science and reason. <laughs> well, salute to you, my yeah, friend. Well, thank you so much. I'll yeah. tell you. I think, uh, did I win this? Oh, you won uh, hands down. Man. You get a celebratory cookie. Uh, I'm going to eat one without mustard just to wash the <laughs> taste out. <laughs> oh, Jim's going to do Oh, Jim's doing it. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, producer yeah. Jim. He is trying. Ew. Disgusting. Uh, he's he's does it into willingly. It. What? Wow. What's wrong with you? Oh, what do you think, Jim? It's not right. Mm. It's Thank not you, right. USA You're today. Winner. Did you try one, Bo? Yeah, you <laughs> just, did. Like, I just did. I took that one because just in case I put one ready to it's go. It's kind of. It's just the thing. It is, just like, doesn't go. It doesn't. Add, it doesn't work. Mm. Both are great. Mustard, great. Oreos, great. Together, not great. No, it's not that bad. <laughs> and we're done. <laughs> Jim says it's not that it's bad. Not right, but it's not he says Something's it's not wrong right. With your friend over there. <laughs> yeah, Jim. Jim, like your taste buds are disaligned or misaligned here, my friend. I mean, but, it's not the worst thing I've eaten. Yeah, but, you know, mustard I mean, and Oreo. It's not the goodness of an Oreo. Mm -mm, no, you know the goodness of Oreo is when you eat it with like a vanilla bean ice cream with caramel. Oh, yeah. I like, to, I, like. I like to put a little smear of peanut butter on there oh. and dip it into milk. Wow. Mm, that's sort of good stuff right there. Before that, I couldn't tell you the last time I had an Oreo. So. Oh, yeah. So good. Well, there you have it. How do you guys like your Oreos? With mustard? With ketchup? With chocolate? You let us know. Show notes below. Here it is. Sour. You guys crap. are awesome. <laughs>